God's teachers have trust in the world because the power of love governs this world. Even if the world was made in hatred by the ego, all of the universe uh, is governed by the power of love because God is the, is the creator of, of spirit. And you can put a veil of time and space on top of spirit, but it doesn't change what spirit is. Spirit is really all-powerful. It's all-knowing. It's omniscient. Uh, there's, there's nothing really but spirit. Spirit is, is reality. And so in this world, you can start to relax with the world because uh, you know that there's a power that's uh, in the world, but not of it. In other words, every situation is truly governed by the power of love. And we might say that's what a miracle is. A miracle just shows you a unified world. And as much as it was fragmented by the ego, all it takes is you just easing back into the miracle in your mind, and suddenly you behold a happy dream because you're not judging the world. You're, you know, so what, you know, if it was made in hatred by the ego, as my friend Dorothy always used to say, so what? Now what? Uh, I like that attitude. So what? Now what? The world was made in hatred. So what? Now what? <laughs> the world was made as an attack on God, Jesus tells us in the, in the workbook. Uh, that's pretty strong metaphysics. The world was made as an attack on God, a place where God could enter not. Okay, so what? Now what? Are we in for the miracle? Are we in for the joy? Are we in for the happiness of right now? Are we in for the correction of the error? I don't know about you, but I'm not interested in analyzing the error. I don't even need metaphysics that analyze the error. I'm into the, the joy of the correction, the joy of the present moment. The joy of the presence of God's love, that's what really interests me. That is my heart's desire. Yeah. I was singing that REO song, you know. <laughs> There's so many good REO Speedwagon songs. But, uh, but it's basically that love I feel in my heart that doesn't want to sleep. It just wants to keep on loving you. It's, it's, uh, it's that love that doesn't want to let go of God's love because it knows it can't. It's, it's that uh, it's time to bring the ship into the shore and throw away the oars forever. It's time to get into the joy of I can't fight that feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. It's time to bring the ship into the shore and throw away the oars forever. Let's get into the glory of the grace of God. Let's go all the way into the glee and happiness of God. God is unstoppable. Love is unstoppable. Error can only seem to cover it for a glimpse, for a little moment. But, but a little veil is not going to, to shield us from the love of God because God created us, and God's will for us is perfect happiness. So to me, when I read Trust, Let Go and Let God, which is our main theme of the retreat and of the movie, I say, trust in the Holy Spirit. That's what it means. It's not saying trust in the flesh. It's not saying trust in linear time. It's not really saying trust in the images of the world. But Jesus said, well, I'll give you a workbook lesson. I trust my brothers who are one with me. He's just saying, trust in the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Trust in your intuition, because that intuition knows that there's only one of us. That's really what trust in my brothers, you know, means. I trust my brothers as I trust in you, God, because I know that my brothers and sisters aren't actually flesh. <laughs> They're actually spirit. And I'm not going to fall for the trick of time and space getting too wrapped up into the body and flesh when even in the Bible, Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. And then 
some of you know St. Francis, the beautiful uh, mystic saint who lived in the 1200s. He loved to quote Jesus. And St. Francis said, quoting the Bible, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. I now am born again. Okay, that sounds pretty good. He's just talking about the present moment. He's talking about the same thing that Eckhart Tolle is talking about, that Muji is talking about, that Byron Katie is talking about, that all the mystics and saints are, can't stop talking about the present moment, because that is the gateway to eternity. And so that's why when we trust, we are trusting in this moment. We are not trying to say that you need to trust in the form. We're saying trust in the guidance, trust in your intuition in this moment, and it will set you free. It will set your mind free.